Welcome everyone. A common question that I'm receiving these days is how to link a Canvas assignment through a Bitmoji Classroom. And a lot of you have created Bitmoji Classroom, so I'm not going to explain that here. But obviously a part of that process is developing external links. So for example, if I click on the Purdue pennant, it will take me to the Purdue website. But the question is how do I link something back into Canvas? So let's say that I want this Google button right here to link to a Canvas assignment. How do I do that? And assuming the student is enrolled in your course, and obviously if they're viewing your Bitmoji Classroom, they should be. I'm simply going to navigate to that resource within Canvas. So in this case, I have a Google Docs cloud assignment. I'm going to use that. And if I click here, I can just copy this web address. And then I can go over to the source where I created the Bitmoji Classroom, which in all likelihood is going to be Google Slides. And from there, I'm going to click on the button that I want to use. So in this case, this Google button right here. I'm going to insert a link. I'm going to paste that link. I'm going to click Apply. And then I am going to navigate back to Canvas. And from here, I am going to go to Student View so that I can see what a student will see. So now I'm a student in the course. I have the home page accessible. Obviously, the link right here is going to open the Purdue website, as it always did. However, now the Google button will also open that particular assignment, which I linked to it. Please be aware it does open a second instance of Canvas in the browser, so a new tab of Canvas will be open in the browser. That might be a little confusing for some students, but that is the answer to how you link something through your Bitmoji Classroom back to a Canvas assignment. This is particularly use useful for elementary or primary grades in which you may have only one or two navigation options, or some teachers are trying to funnel everything through their Bitmoji Classroom, but still have the assignments accessible to students. Hopefully that will help answer that question, and if you have any others, please let me know.